Another one bites the dust.
Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust.
some kind of festival going on, I wonder? Hmm. Yes, of course. Galopolis is the kingdom of the Desert Knight, isn't it? And of the racetrack where they love to compete. I think we've arrived in town just in time for the horse racing festival. Well, you go play with ponies if you like. I'm off to look for the Yggdrasil branch. That's why we're here, in case you've forgotten. Oh, let Mr. Moody No Fun go off on his own if he wants. There's nothing to stop us having a little look around while we're here.
goody. And national. This race marks the day that Faris, my son and heir, comes of age, and as such... You, no, no, no! An event of such significance must have eloquence to match. Such functional pleasantries will not thrill my beloved subjects. Hmm? And who exactly might you be? I have no time to grant an audience today. You must leave. Immediately. <laughs> Father, my training is complete. word is his bond, his kingdom his master. He serves the weak untiringly, challenges the strong un unflinchingly, ha, and never retreats in the face of adversity. Ha. Hmm? Yes, very good. The knight's pledge must always be your guide, my son. <laughs> You are a man now, Faris. 
and tomorrow's race shall prove it. You must show your people that you are worthy of their adulation. Fear not, beloved father. I shall disappoint neither you nor they. your name, stranger? And what brings you to Galopolis? Hmm. Surely he speaks of the rainbow. It is the only treasure of our kingdom that would warrant such a description. I believe I can assist you, friend. Visit me in my chambers at the foot of the great staircase. I shall await you there.
you came. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Yes, yes. Your height and physique are perfect, and you have the face of one who knows horses. <clears throat> you should be aware that the branch you seek is a priceless royal treasure. My father is unlikely to give it away freely to some <laughs> wandering stranger. However, he might be persuaded to part with it if the request came from his beloved son. I have but one small favor to ask in return. <gasps> but the palace walls have so many unwelcome ears. Ah, ah, the noise of the circus will protect our privacy. Will you join me there? Then it is agreed. I will meet you at the entrance to that ridiculous tent this evening. Do not be late, please. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the act you've all been waiting for. The wandering wonder who amazes audiences wherever he goes. Prepare yourselves for an experience like no other. Prepare yourselves for the Great Silvando! And gentlemen, please! There is no need to be afraid! The great Silvando will never endanger his adoring audience. After all, darlings, you are the ones who make this show so special! I love you all! Thank you! Thank you! 
Quickly, we must talk while the people are distracted. And please, not a word of this to anyone. Now, as you may be aware, the Sun National is the most important event of the year here in Galopolis. And tomorrow, I am due to make my debut in the race to end all races. However, there is a problem. One teeny tiny, terrible problem. I cannot ride. In fact, I have barely so much as sat in a saddle. What? I have so far been able to hide this uh, unfortunate fact, but if I were to take part in the race, the inconvenient truth would surely be uncovered. And yet I have no choice for a prince of Golopolis not to take part in the Sun National on the year of his coming of age is unthinkable! Unthinkable! Huh? So you see, your coming here was fated! It is a sign! The forces of destiny mean me to use you as my double! Ta-da! Your double? How's that gonna work? Won't everyone notice as soon as he walks out onto the track? Ah, the fates have provided that also! For you see, the royal family always races in full armor, lest the unthinkable occur. His face will be hidden from view! Oh, please, please! I beg of you, you must help me! You must enter the Sun National in my place! You are the most pathetic excuse for a prince I've ever seen! If you think we're going to help you lie to your people, you've got another thing coming. Is that so? Then I assume that your need of the rainbow is not so great after all. Wow. Talk about shameless. Call me what you will, it changes nothing. You will do as the fates wish and take my place in the race? Yes? I knew you would see sense in the end! Thank you. I will talk to my father about the rainbow as soon as the race is over. You have my word. I took the liberty of arranging rooms for you at the inn. Rest well. I will see you in the stables, bright and early. You will find the stable entrance in the western part of the city. Do not be late. Now, I must be on my way. Farewell! Friends! <laughs> hmm.
<clears throat> Hello, Galopolitans! This is... Uh, no ordinary sand national! Uh. Hooray! All hail Prince Varys! It must be wonderful to be so popular, darling. But of course, you are used to it. Being a real live prince, huh? The name's Silvando, by the way. One of the other riders had a little whoopsie, so I had to step in at the last minute. But don't think I'll be going easy on you just because you're royalty. Where would be the fun in that? Try to keep up, little princey! Most talented, a far more natural horseman than I had anticipated. <laughs> now, quickly, my public await. I shall take the reins from here. Fear not, my friend. I have not forgotten my promise. I will discuss the rainbow with my father just as soon as my people have finished showering me with adulation. <laughs> Praise the fates, our plan was a success. Thank you, you have spared me great humiliation. <laughs> I will go immediately to my father and ask about the rainbow. 
All hail Prince Faris, pride of the desert, horseman extraordinaire. Darling, you are fabulous. It was enough to bring a tear even to my jaded eye. Uh, 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 oh. Wait, don't tell me you were... <gasps> Surely you didn't let your understudy take the stage for the command performance. <gasps> oh, this is too, too good. Wait, wait. But you do not understand the pressure I am under. A prince of Galopolis who could not ride a horse is a disgrace to the kingdom. I did what was necessary for the sake of my people. And now all can be forgotten. Yes? And there was silly old Silvando thinking that knights never retreated in the face of adversity. Silence! I am the prince of this kingdom, and I will not have a traveling jester lecture me on chivalry. <gasps> a thousand pardons, your highness. <gasps> Enter. The Sultan wishes to see you, Your Highness. Your magnificent display of horsemanship has pleased him greatly. Very good. I will come right away. My promise still stands. Come to the throne room in a little while. We will see what can be done about this branch of yours. So nice to see a royal with the common touch. You were wonderful out there today, darling. Maybe we'll get to share the stage again soon.
I am humbled. All I have ever desired is to fulfill my duties as a prince and as a knight. Hmm? Ah. Father, if I may, I have promised to assist these travelers. Would you permit me to explain? Gladly, my son. It warms my heart to see you aiding those in need. Truly, you have taken the Knight's Pledge to heart. Thank you, Father. <laughs> the truth of the matter is that my friends here have come to Galopolis in search of the rain. Your Majesty, the beast has returned. It attacked one of our men while we were out on patrol. The Slayer of the Sands is back? Why must the accursed creature always appear on this, the happiest day of the year? We will stand for this no longer! I must dispatch my finest knights and ensure that the fiend never again returns to terrorize the celestial sands. But wait! My boy, the fates are speaking to us! Capturing the Slayer would be the perfect way to show your people what a fine knight you have become! What? Well, but, 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 oh, father, <laughs> so many of our bravest men have confronted the creature and perished. <laughs> Surely, <laughs> I do not stand a chance. <laughs> Truly, it is the most able who are the most humble. But you cannot hide your true feelings. You are trembling with excitement. <laughs> This is your moment, Faris, my boy! Capture the Slayer and take your place in history! But... Uh, I... I... Oh, very, very well, Father. <laughs> Yay! I shall begin my preparations right away. Thousand pardons. The, the rainbow will have to wait. Meet me in my chambers. There is something we must discuss. Oh, 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 just breathe, Faris. I beg of you, the Slayer of the Sands will tear me limb from limb unless you aid me. Have pity on a desperate soul! Spoken like a true desert knight. Seriously, can't you handle this on your own? No! No, such a thing is impossible! I am no knight! I neglected my training! I allowed my vassals to fight all my battles for me! <laughs> oh, it is not my fault! I am an only child! I was coddled from birth and praised for the most insignificant of achievements! I did not wish to disappoint my parents or my people, so I, I, I found ways of, of seeming to fulfill their expectations without necessarily doing so. But the more I fulfilled them, the more their expectations grew, and now finally they expect the impossible. Ow, 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 it's so unfair. Don't you see? If you refuse to help me, I will be sent to my doom, and through no fault of my own. <laughs> Please, will you take pity on your old friend? <laughs> oh, thank you! Ten thousand thank yous! <laughs> and fear not, I will speak to my father about the rainbow as soon as the beast is captured. We must make preparations to depart immediately! I will await you at the castle gates! What a pathetic excuse for a prince! Goodness knows what'll become of Galopolis with him in charge! Oh, we 
mustn't be so hard on him, Veronica. I'm sure it can't be easy growing up with everyone expecting so much of you. I mean no disrespect, your highness, but how could you do this to us? You have volunteered us for certain death. Fear not, trusted retainers. We do not journey into the jaws of danger alone. Ha! Impeccable timing as always. Allow me to introduce our knights in shining armor. These brave adventurers have agreed to capture the Slayer for us. Now, the beast lair is said to be located deep within the celestial sands. The fastest route is through the checkpoint to the west. We march immediately for Galopolis! For Galopolis. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Room for a little one? Oh, I'd hate to miss a good beast hunt. Huh? Huh? Ah. <laughs> There's no such thing as a good beast hunt, friend. If I were you, I'd run along back to the circus. Well, aren't you just a lovely, patronizing little deer? Look, I'm worried about the half-wit prince getting himself killed. Can I come with you or not? Hmm. At least one of you has some sense. Lead on, darling! Ow!
heat, the dry air, it is too much, too, too much. Let us spend the night here, the monster will have to wait. Oh, ah, ha, ha. there you are. Uh, as you can see, I have decided to set up camp. We will continue our quest in the morning. That's right. You get your beauty sleep, Princey dear. You've got a hard day of getting us to do your dirty work for you to be preparing for. Come on, you. Let's have a sit down and a nice chat, shall we? So, two boys and two girls out on a lovely adventure together, huh? How romantic! But what kind of adventure, I wonder? Come on, spill the beans! To be perfectly honest, we're none too sure ourselves just yet. But for the moment, we're trying to get to Yggdrasil. We need to understand more about the mystery surrounding the Luminary, you see? It's all to do with a horrible being called the Dark One. He wants to bring death and destruction to the world. And we want to stop him. All right, Big Mouth, that's enough. You don't need to tell the Jolly Jester our whole life story. We barely know him. My, 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 my. So there's a dastardly villain coming to steal all the smiles and laughter from the world. And you four heroes are on a daring mission to stop him before it's too late. Oh, now that does sound fun. Hmm. You've got a strange idea of fun. What about you, Silvando? What made you leave home and set out on the road? Oh, you don't want to hear my boring old stories. We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Come on, kitties. Betty buys. Well, aren't we full of mysteries? What's his deal? The Slayer of the Sands was last seen here. Ah. <laughs> the cowardly creature is nowhere to be found. It must have fled in fear. Let us return to the castle and inform my father of our success. Is among us! 
Up and Adam Principal, show that filthy thing what real knights are made of. <laughs> oh dear, looks like poor old Ferris has been struck down with stage fright. You soldiers, be dears and look after him, will you? Come on, gang, this little drama needs a hero or two. Watch out! Let's do this! Let's go!
scorched earth! That will teach you to be so grumpy. Now, hold nice and still while I tie you up. The Slayer of the Sands is bested, all in a day's work for the Prince of Galopolis. <laughs> you saw me, man, did you not? You saw the People's Prince defeat the fiend that terrorized them so. Uh, yes, Your Highness. Of course, Your Highness. <sighs> You have my thanks, Fred. My heroic feat would not have been possible without your... valuable contribution. <laughs> I still have not forgotten what I promised. I will speak with my father about the rainbow upon my return. You may rest assured of that. Really, Principal? That's how you're gonna play it? And what do you think they'll be expecting of you next, huh? You speak as though I have a choice! Are you suggesting that I disappoint my father and the citizens of Galopolis? <sighs> I'm not suggesting anything, darling. You do what you need to do. <laughs> Galopolis men, we return as heroes! Yeah! Oh, well, this feels all kinds of wrong. You're right, Silvando. Nothing's going to change if he keeps on pretending. Oh, I think the poor boy knows that well enough. All he needs is a little push. Anyway, I'd better be getting along. I'm sure we'll bump into each other again soon. Ciao for now, my loves. <laughs> Goodness. 
Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Nice. Not bad, eh? Oh, goody.
Your prince, my son, our hero, has vanquished the Slayer of the Sands. Hey! <laughs> yeah, that's it! <laughs> yeah! The future of our kingdom is surely safe in the hands of one so gallant and chivalrous as he. Now come, heroic conqueror. Address your people. Beloved Gallopolitans, yes, I captured the beast, but I did not act alone. For it was your love, your adoration that gave me the strength I so needed. Yes! that same love that will allow me to continue serving you until my dying day. <laughs> Friends, we have no need to be afraid. Prince Faris will protect us. Yes, yes. We have nothing to fear with the prince on our side! Well, my boy, your people are weak. Let them see firsthand the fearless desert knight you have become. <laughs> Father, father, I cannot. <gasps> Repeat after me now. A knight's word? Uh, a knight's word is his bond, his kingdom, his master. Hmm? Huh? 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 <gasps> well, don't stop. He serves the weak untiringly, challenges the strong unflinchingly, and, and never retreats in the face of adversity. That's more like it. Now, my little principal, do you want to be remembered as a miserable coward or a hero who died fighting to the end? as a knight of Colopolis! to remind you what it means to be a knight, though. Better not go forgetting again, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, wait! A friend! Where did you become so well-versed in the ways of chivalry? Are you a knight? Who, me? Don't be ridiculous, darling. I'm just a silly old jester. Yes, father. It... It was he who rode my horse in the Sun National. 
and he who captured the Slayer of the Sands. Forgive me. Ferris, look at me. The burden that was placed upon you, it was more than any boy could be expected to bear. It is I who must apologize, not you. But rest assured that I have learned my lesson. I will not make the same mistake again. And it seems you have learned something too, despite your protestations. The bravery you showed was worthy of a true knight. Sir Hendrik will be happy to take one such as yourself under his wing, I am sure. Your dream will come true at last. I am so pleased for you. <laughs> <laughs> Hendrik? Wasn't that the name of the guy who was chasing us? Ah, but I am forgetting our guests. Father, these travelers came to Golopolis in search of the rainbow. It is a royal treasure, of course. But surely you agree that they have done more than enough to deserve it. Certainly, certainly. But my boy, I sold the rainbow to a traveling merchant. What? What would compel you to sell one of our most precious treasures? Are you blind, boy? Did you not notice the grandeur with which we celebrated this year's Sand National? We made a sacrifice for your sake. Father, I... All I can tell you is that the merchant to whom I sold the rainbow headed west towards Gondolia. This letter will grant you passage through the checkpoint that leads there. Perhaps someone can tell you what became of the branch. Uh, uh, ow! A thousand pardons! I did not know that the rainbow was no longer in the kingdom. Truly, I did not. It is scant consolation, I am sure. But please, take this. Its value cannot possibly compare, but it has been prized by generations of Gallopolitan knights. It allows one to provoke distant foes into combat and is an excellent way to gain battle experience. Or so I am told. <laughs> you have done our kingdom a great service. Should you ever need our assistance, you need only say the word. And as for me, I will be sorry to see you leave. But I am sure there will be other Gallum. <laughs> <coughs> Kindly travelers along soon enough. <laughs> mm. I was beginning to think you had snuck out through the stage door. Huh? Ow. Hey! You again. What do you want this time? Hey! Ya! Ta da! Oh, don't be coy, darling. I want to come with you, of course. You should never have told me about your heroic quest if you didn't want me to tag along. What are you talking about? You can't just decide to come with us. This isn't a game. <sighs> Believe me, honey, I know it isn't. 
I've seen my fair share of fun and games on my travels. What kind of jester would I be if I hadn't? But I've seen tragedy too. People attacked by monsters, all kinds of awful things. You know, my dream has always been to build a wonderful theater. Somewhere I can put on performances that will make millions smile. But how can I do that if this dark one of yours is going to be out there making people's lives awful? What I'm trying to say, darlings, is that we all want the same thing. So you see, I have to come with you. Oh, don't all squeal at once now. This guy really doesn't take no for an answer, huh? Guess I'm part of the gang now. Yay! So, tell me, what's our next move? Well, to get to Yggdrasil, we're going to need the Rainbow. And it seems that a traveling merchant has taken it to Gondolia. Gondolia? But honey, that's a port town. He's probably hopped on a boat and set sail by now. That's true. Then we'll have to buy tickets for the ferry, and... The ferry? Please, darling. We don't have time to be riding the ferry with the little people. Well, what's your bright idea, then? I was thinking a sheep of our own might be more chic, no? And luckily for you, I happen to have picked up a lovely little number in the end of season sales. What? You've got your own boat? Amazing! You're going up in my estimation by the minute. You'd really be willing to let us use your ship, Mr. Sylvander? But of course, sweetie. That's what friends are for. And guess where the old girl is dog, hmm? No? Why, Gondolia, of course! Lucky! So what are we waiting for? The ocean beckons, shipmate! Westward ho! Oh. 